can you give me your can you illustrate to me the day to day life of an LPGA athlete in your because I see there's there's Nelly Corda. There's Nelly Corda. Oh, she's playing a different sport. Yeah. Who, <laughs> who, there's, you know, Five there's, in a row. Right. There's the Nelly Cordas and, you know, Lydia Cos who've won, you know, a, a bajillion. And then there's there's a lot of people who are professional golfers who are trying to make a living out of it and, and win games. The journeymen. How how is that <laughs> life for you? What what what's that experience? It's pretty crazy. Um people think it's very glamorous. They're always like, Oh, you get to travel so much, you're so lucky. It's it's really hard. I, I mentioned to you earlier, this is my first week back in like seven seven weeks back at like my home base. But I'll just like give you a glimpse of what it's like during a tournament week. Like let's say we're going on a three week stretch. Three weeks in a row of golf tournaments. So tournaments start on Thursday and end on Sundays. So the practice round days are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesdays, we usually have a pro-am, which, you know, we have to play like nine holes with four other amateurs, and it's like a different format. Um, and then again, t- tournament starts Thursday through Sunday, and then sometimes Sundays, right after the round, you fly out to your next event, or you can spend the night and then fly out Monday and just repeat that whole process. Practice Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Compete Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's it. Like, that's the life on that's the life on tour. But I think I like I've been on tour for five. I've been a professional golfer for five years now, and I'm still learning on what routine works best for me. Because I feel like in the past year, it's just like golf course hotel, golf course hotel, and it it gets tiring like that. Like you need to find a way to make things enjoyable again. So. Like, whenever you travel to a new state, different city, just try to find something fun. So, you know, you have something to look forward to. So not everything revolves around golf. So I, my dad travels with me full time. Um, one thing we tried to do was, like, oh, we'll find a local ice cream store. So you have something to look forward to after the round. Or, like, because last year I didn't have very good status. I had, I played Epson, the developmental tour of the LPGA. And they really bring you to like all these remote places where you're just in the middle of nowhere. Um, there was some tournament we ended up in Utah in Hurricane. So we ended up going to Zion National Park. So it's like there has to be something else. Like you need to have an outlet or else it'll drive you crazy just having your life revolve around one thing. So yeah, that's my life. Thursday to Friday compete, Monday through Wednesday practice. And then Sunday night or Monday morning are my travel days. How how is it how is it like from a logistical standpoint? I mean, luckily you have your dad, but from a logistical standpoint, because I remember I would watch like I watch all these sports documentaries. I, I assume tennis I, and and golf I've seen some where it's like, oh, let's say you booked your hotel for four days, but let mm-hmm. you missed the cut that week. Like, yeah, what's gonna happen? Are you, are, do you mm-hmm. do you do you have to like how does the logistics work? And is it your dad just doing all of that for you? Then I feel like. Um, I have people who help me out with bookings and stuff, but I kind of like doing everything on my own just because mm. I like to know what's going on. Um, so I book my flights, I book the hotels, just because, you know, when we travel, we go to the same places every year. The tournaments are usually in the same places. So I kind of know where to stay or at least for some of the tournaments, we have hosts. So that's very convenient. And like we've had, we, you know, form really good relationships with these people and they're kind enough to like, well, welcome my dad and I to their homes but yeah usually I just do all the bookings for hotels and flights um it, it's a lot but you kind of get used to it after five years how is it is the juxtaposition between the Nelly Cordes of the world and the Lydia Cause of the world and the Daniel Kangs of the world very different from I guess what you, uh, from the rest like do you see it when you're on tour I mean, yeah, of course. I feel like I see a difference, but I don't know. It's like we do the same things every week. We compete for for four days or two if you miss the cut. But it's kind of like uh, you watch the swing. Yeah. It's crazy because like even with the men, it's so much different. Like the lives on tour, like flying, private. Because of course, like the top 
female golfers can do that, but they don't. And it's funny because we come across people who ask, like, oh, like, do you guys fly private? I'm like, no, we don't. It's just like the, the 1% of the men on tour. Like, our lives are very different as compared to the men. But I feel like the difference between me and the top players aren't as different as, you know, the guys on the PGA Tour where, like, the top guys all fly private every week. Or there was this one episode where, like, Justin Thomas and Jordan Spieth, like, flew private to practice at a course where a major was going to be held. Like, you don't see that very often on the LPGA. 